Mention worms, and most people immediately think of earthworms. Worms is a collective title for about 20 phyla of creeping invertebrates. The most diverse phyla are the nematodes, the platelmints, and the annelids. The platelmints, or the flatworms, holds 10,000 species and it is one of the largest of the animal kingdom. Flatworms have bilateral symmetry. They are flat and have a leaf-like delicate body that can cling to the bottom of the seafloor or the surface of a coral, like a film or a mucus as seen in this photograph. The brown spots are the flatworms layered atop of the coral. Flatworms can be brilliantly colored and have exquisite patterns. There, these worms are among the simplest of worms, but have a complex reproductive system. As they can, they are hermaphrodites, sharing both sexes within one body. The male reproductive system appears to give them an advantage in survival, as they fight to impregnate one the other, while avoiding becoming impregnating themselves. This fight has been described as penis fencing. These worms are also known as polyclads or, or branching gut. This name then describes the way their gut divides into many branches as it radiates from their mouth. Flatworms can be predators of other invertebrates. This image shows a flatworm preying on an ascidian. And they can also be scavengers that feed on dead organic matter. The nematodes, or the round worms, or even thread-like worms, they have bilateral symmetry and can be found everywhere as free living through sands or sediments as predators of bacteria or as parasites of fish and marine mammals. These two photographs show numerous nematodes on the flesh of a macro and on the flesh of cod. The largest parasitic worm lives on the placenta of the sperm whale, and it's said to be eight meters long and two centimeters thick. Parasitic nematodes' life stages occur in different marine hosts and passes up to the food chain in complex food webs. The stomach worms of sperm whales lay their eggs in the stomach, these pass out in the host feces and are eaten by small crustaceans in which they partially develop. The crustaceans are eaten by fish and the worm migrate into the tissues and develop further. When the fish are eaten by the warm-blooded whale, the worm emerge into the gut and molt into the adult form. Annelids are best known as earthworms. However, bristle worms found in the sea are annelids too. Polychaetes or sea worms have bundles of bristles projecting from each segment, which help these worms swim to water or sediment. Poly means many, keta means bristle. Polychaete larvae, which are called trochophore, also shows bristles in each segment and can be easily identified in a plankton sample. Sea worms have bilateral symmetry divided into a series of muscular segments in which some organs may even be repeated. They appear as a, rings, as a series of rings called annuli. They have a head region bearing eye spots containing a main central nervous system or brain with lesser ganglia in each segment along the ventral nerve cord. Many annelids are predators or filter feeders, such as the Christmas tree worm. These worms are found in coral reefs. 
their body remains protected in a tube embedded in the coral or rock from which they unfur their delicate fan of tentacles, which looks like a Christmas tree, and filter out the plankton from the water. When sea worms are mature, reproduction means swimming up into the water, spilling out eggs and sperm into the sea for fertilization. Eggs develop into the planktonic larvae, the trochophore, that drift until metamorphose into the metamorphosis and settle to grow into young worms. The seasonal spawning events of the Palola worms of Samoa are special times for the islanders who gather the gravid individuals laden with eggs and sperm for a special feast where segmented worms are referred to as the caviar of the Pacific Ocean. In this photograph, the blue sea worms are the females with eggs, while the brown sea worms are the males. Meanwhile, in the coast of California, the honeycomb worm is a reef building worm commonly found on the rocky community, the intertidal zone. Each worm builds itself a protective tube from sand and shell fragments to form a reef that looks like a reef, like a honeycomb. Each little hole is like a worm home. And like the Christmas tree worm, the honeycomb worm is a filter feeder, extending feeding tentacles into the water to catch floating particles of plankton or detritus.